Hello everyone, my name is Paper Napkin, and I'm back with another episode of the Minecraft Hunger Games. It features myself, obviously, but it also features TAC1421, Mr. Ant 1520 and Isaac from Value Planet Videos. In this game, I'm playing as a chameleon, while everyone else is playing as a gambler. They're trying to go for the full diamond armor, doesn't really happen in this game, but uh, a lot of interesting kills, a lot of unfortunate deaths, so this game is definitely one worth watching. So right off the bat, as I'm getting some basic tools, I notice Amp is getting attacked by this guy. This dude was actually following him around, trying to troll him, but uh, I panicked a little bit. I should have just run to help him right off the bat, but I do get a wooden sword. I try to intercept. I do get quite a few good hits off, but unfortunately, it's a wooden sword. I'm not doing enough damage, and he does get Amp. Uh, good thing is, Amp has MVP, so he just joined us right after. And uh, I was still kind of mad, disappointed, so we wanted to kill this guy. Uh, fortunately, Camnat Miners, who is a subscriber of AMP, uh, manages to jump in and get the kill, and we can continue onwards. And as usual, whenever I play with Tack, he always finds a way to surprise me with a red flower. Ah, so pretty. At this point, I'm looking for some iron. When I try to sneak past this creeper, and all of a sudden, BOOM! Nearly died. This creeper almost posed a problem. So it turns out that it's actually Camnat Miner's birthday, and he was really excited by the fact that he was playing with us and uh, potentially appearing in one of our videos. Unfortunately, that excitement was short-lived, because as we were going on to our next target, he meets his demise by an exploding creeper. And guess what? A short moment later, Tack gets killed by a creeper. Yikes. We're dropping like flies at this point. So there's a guy in a sky tower above us, so I decided to try to throw this egg at him, thinking I might be able to hit him. But in the end, I end up hitting either Amp or Isaac, I can't remember who, and actually turns out to be a common theme. We don't have enough dirt to get the guy, so we decide to go look for someone else, and instead, we find a nice little dirt shack. But we're always a little bit suspicious of creepers at this point, so we decide to leave and go back for the guy in the tower. So I get enough dirt to build this dirt tower up to the platform. Uh, Amp's a little bit busy with someone else, but Isaac points out that the guy is making his move towards me. I'm struggling to build a platform as fast as possible, just in case he tries to knock me off. But uh, he's getting pretty close, and all of a sudden... No. Thankfully, I snap back somehow when I get the kill, and oh, that was just... My heart was pumping at that point. But I don't have that much time to settle down, because as soon as I get down, Amp has already found our next target. It actually turns out he's right near the sky base. I don't know if he was partners with the guy above, but he buried himself a little bit below the ground. Probably not the best idea, when there's three of us, we can easily surround him, we have the high ground. I decide to take him on from the front, Amp sneaks in from behind, uh, and Isaac's there for backup if one of us needs to switch out. So we uncover him, he does have some pretty good iron armor, and an iron sword, so I mean... If he was good, he could probably take out one of us, but me in the front and Amp in the back, he just doesn't have a chance. Uh, he ends up falling down, killing himself, but Amp does dive down there to get all his cool items as well. So we're feeling pretty good. There's only two other people at this point, and the feast is about to start, so we figured we should probably head over that way. Luckily, by the time we got to the feast, we realized the other two people weren't coming here, so we had free pickings of whatever items were to spawn. Uh, there was no diamond swords, which is kind of unfortunate, but we really didn't need them at this point. Three on two, we're pretty good Minecraft players. We're going to win regardless. We do find some pretty good diamond armor. I think I got some diamond shoes and diamond chest plate. And uh, we just kind of take our time, go through, take some meat, grab some potions as well. Enjoying the moment, because we know what's about to happen. And that's that we're going to win this game. One person just died to some random mob, and there's only one person left, and we've already locked onto him. Turns out he's in a weird little cobblestone tower, and we don't really know what he's trying to do, but Amp has the idea of killing him with lava to teach him a lesson. He's not that high up, so I try to hit him with a poison potion, but I greatly overestimate my throwing abilities and I hit Amp instead. Uh, my bad on that one. He definitely took a lot of damage that you shouldn't have there, but it doesn't really matter because you stayed alive. Isaac shooting arrows at him, trying to knock him off, but then I notice the grass is a little weird around here. I'm thinking he might be a Kaya but I'm not sure, so I decided to build a little tower and bridge across, rather than risk it. And the guy sealed himself off pretty good, so I'm not worried about him surprising me or anything like that. Uh, Amp does fall into the trap at this point. Luckily, it wasn't that deep, so he's able to jump right out of it. And as I connect the bridge, Amp starts making his way up to the uh, little box thing, and I decide to poke in, see how the guy's doing, maybe get a couple hits in before Amp makes it. Throw a slowness potion, add insult to injury, 
And yep, there I am getting a couple hits. But as soon as I see that lava, I hold off. He kind of looks at me and jumps for me as a last ditch effort, but I wasn't going to save him. And just like that, the three of us are the only ones left. We're pretty excited. As you can see, I'm, I'm moving my mouse around like a crazy man. And it's not all fun and games when you're playing Minecraft, though. You got to keep that in mind. Yeah, we're the last three, but you can still die to other things. And one of those things, amps lava. Turns out Isaac accidentally walks into the lava. He's taking some damage and we don't really know what to do. We're kind of panicking here. I, I remember I have a splash health potion. I throw it at him just as Amp's trying to throw water at him. Amp missed the, with the water bucket. I don't know if that mattered. I don't know what Isaac's health was at that point, but uh, the health potion, I'm going to say, the splash potion there saved his life. So as we're sitting around trying to figure out how to end this thing, I notice Isaac is trying to shoot me. Turns out he's not trying to shoot me. He's trying to shoot the creeper behind me. Can you imagine if I had got killed by a creeper at the very end? That would have been just so aggravating, especially considering it killed Amp subscriber, and it also killed Tack as well. And it, it nearly got me in the beginning too, you gotta remember that. So Amp is just building a little Amp statue construct sort of thing. Uh, when he's not looking, I, I sneak in front of it and try building a paper napkin one just to, uh, to make fun of him. Uh, but he does eventually turn around. I, w I was giggling pretty loudly, so was Isaac. And he just ends up blocking it out. So after a while of talking, we figured that we'll just end the game by doing the classic. Build really high, everyone drop at the same time, and then let fate decide. Uh, Isaac was really gung-ho about this because uh, he previously did this and he won. So he's feeling pretty confident. Uh, usually when it comes to this sort of thing, I, I'm not that lucky and I usually end up losing. So I, I'm just kind of taking it stride. So we remove all our armor, I heal up my hunger, probably doesn't make a difference. And then we just start the uh, the process of debating who is going to be the one to knock out the block. I don't think it makes a difference who's the one that knocks it out, but, you know, I don't know. Pretty much it's just fate. We're all waiting around. Amp finally decides to do the, do the honors. And as he knocks it out, I hold my breath. And I win. Somehow, I don't know how, somehow I managed to win and two skeletons pop out of nowhere. But I'm pretty excited. This is only my second Minecraft Hunger Game win. I'm usually the one that helps the other people win. So I'm pretty excited. So if you enjoyed this episode of the Minecraft Hunger Games, leave a like, leave a comment. If you want to see more, please tell me. I, I love doing these videos and I hope to see you guys next time. But until then, my name is Paper Napkin. Take it easy, folks.